Hi, this is Cooking with Tia. Today I'm going to be making kimba, a Korean rice roll. It's a version like almost Japanese, but there's really no raw meat or fish in it. Not meat, but fish. The idea when a while back when I was going to, we had this Korean little market. And I was walking along. They had pre-made this kimba, and they would sell it for like six bucks for two of them. One time I said, oh, I walk by. I said, oh, it looks good. Let me try it. I tried it. I like it. It's similar to sushi. So I bought it and then later on I said, oh, I gotta learn how to make this. So they had the ingredients listed on there. I took it home and then I practiced, you know. Didn't, it's not that, that hard to make because it's already simple. So I just tried mine and this is what works for me. Here's the ingredients I'm gonna have. I have the seedweed wrapper. I got the roasted one. I think seedweed, there's a lot of varieties in there. Big sheets, small sheets, you know. So you can, any seedweed will work. And rice too, you can get jasmine. They have Korean rice, they have sushi rice. I just happen to have jasmine rice, so I'm gonna use that. This seasoned grout strip. Some kind of veggies, I don't know how it looks like, but it comes in strips, already pre-made, and I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna drain it, because it comes in with water. I'm gonna drain it, and then we have this pickle radish. It's also coming long strips, already pre-cut. So I'd have to cut. Usually the radish are pretty big and long and you have to cut it. And I think the radish are usually white. I think they uh, dyed it, I guess, or preserved it, make it yellow. And then I have this snow leg imitation. I'm gonna be put it in. If you don't have it, you can use um, the crab meat, imitation crab meat. I'm gonna add some fish cake, cut it up, put it in strip. I like fish cake. And then I also have sushi tempura put in there. And then I'm also gonna fry eggs. I'm going to fry it with garlic. Nice season my egg. I'm going to fry that and cut into strips. For the veggies, I have spinach. This one I already pre-cooked and I um, pre-cooked it and blanched it and then I smoosh out all the water because there's a lot of water. You don't want the, any water. And this is Taiwan and there's it's pretty long. It has a purple tip. The spinach has a little bit of flavor. I think more flavor than the regular spinach, which is kind of short and small. And this, is, I use this too sometimes. And then we have cucumber, I cut the strip. I don't usually add this, but I'm gonna try, I just want this veggie and it's kind of crunchy. And then I cut and cook some carrot strips. And I season it, I blanched it in cold water, so it's still a bit crunchy. Okay, that's it for now. Now I'm ready to, to roll the gimpa and my rice here, I cook about four cups, and I did season a little bit of MSG, a little bit of salt and sugar. So, I'm gonna flatten it up real thin. And fill it. Not all the way when you flatten this. Get there. It's probably better to get a little bit ice on at a time. It's easier to spread. And now I'm going to start laying everything in. Just piece each, because you don't want to put too much, because you're going to have a big old wrap by the time you're done, don't realize it. So one of each is good, unless you like a lot of veggies for everything. Do like assembly line. I cut the strip of eggs. This one. Roll it. I think this thing kind of helps it push it in tight as you go. And here's your roll. And then you want it to very lightly sesame seed. Sesame seed oil. Make it shiny. Don't put too much. That's really strong. 
And if you have a problem, if yours don't stick at the tip right here, you can add a little bit of water. And then it'll stick just a tad. There's one. Let me do another one for you. And the seed weed, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a line. And I think you want the line going with you, not against you. Make it easy to roll. So you can see the line. Some is really distinct, some's not. So it doesn't break. Okay, let me do another one. Just press it down. Just kind of spread it out. I think it's part of layering, it doesn't matter, just put whatever you want to put. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to cut my gimpa. Let's start cutting in half. The salt easier. And I'll show you what it looks like. There. That's a lot of rice. Maybe I need more. more. Cut it, pile it in half in seconds. Cut into fours. Okay, there you go. 